Today we're gonna review the Basada with Mauri Andrini. The backspin doesn't come from this. Paddle is a matter of power or control. Nice, enough, beautiful. I'm really glad to be here with Mauri Andrini. Mauri, thank you, Fabio, for being here. Today, Mauri, I want to know what are we gonna do? Yes, we're gonna we're gonna try to work out on the shot of the back one. High shot of the back one, but actually in Spanish language we call it bajada, uh -huh. which means downwards. I just want you to play that shot of the back one, yeah, without any movement. Go, stay back. Nice, wasn't bad. Go again. Have a look. To play the shot of the back, I love it. Well done. Good. Nice. So first tip to consider. Imagine that pattern at some point that shot of the back one. Imagine that the ball is a fly. It's a fly. It's a fly. And the fly st stops there. If I want to catch that fly, if I do this, do I catch the fly? Or if I do this, I perhaps catch better. The preparation you are doing is still too late. It's gonna be so much power on it. So you better prepare first. Wait, wait, and from here, you push. Let's try again, vamos. Would you go for a shot? Imagine the level you play. Yes, the level you play. You play a shot of the back one. You win the point? 99% of the time. 95% of the time. With the same shot. You win the point? Which is better shot for you to play? The first one. The first the one. The margin of error is lower. It's lower. So you're playing more clever. You're playing more better. You're playing a clever game. Yeah? If you are risking more than what you need, it's senseless. But Mauri, every amateur player like me wants to burn. 100%. The ball. That's why you always. That's why you keep playing amateur. You know? Someone becomes more and more advanced depending on the decisions you take with the two sports of power. It doesn't matter how good your shot is, because the decisions behind the shot are much better for your side. If you risk less, if you risk what you have to risk, if you do good mistakes, not bad mistakes. Ready? Go. Back. I want this, look, follow the, the bounce, the rebounds, and then you keep. Follow the bounce, follow the bounce of the ball. Hey, beautiful. Go again. Follow the bounce. Go. Beautiful. Carry on. Play slow. Faster doesn't mean better in paddle. Go. Down. Go. Go back. Was easy. Amazing. That's not you. That's not you. That's Paquito. If Paquito does that shot, I would say, well done. For you, it's 100% risk. If you're losing 4-1, you're not gonna play that point. The backspin in paddle comes from a flat shot from high to low. Which backspin do you want? This or this? That is the backspin you want. So you want a flat backspin, let's say. A flat shot that you impact from a little bit above the contact with the ball. You prepare the racket slightly above than the contact with the ball. Let's try, vamos. Put this hand out. Go. This, put the non-playing hand away. Go. Again, put the non-playing hand away. Go. You're doing this. Paddle is about contact with the ball and follow through. Anything behind the contact with the ball will be power. Power is a matter of power or control? control? Or control. So generate the power from here forward. You can generate a little bit more and go. But the more you prepare and the more you use your wrist, less, the less control, control you're gonna have. And you want, you want control and power, so you, this is the control you have. This is the control I have. Uh, sorry, this is the power I have from here. You see, look, huh? You know what is this? Enough for this. But Teo from here has this. Why? Because he goes to the gym every day. He's a professional and he plays at that level. 
if I prepare longer, I lose the racket, I lose, then you lose the control. So you need physically, we need and we have everything in front of us. I want your shot to bounce here on the service line, close to the service line. Yes? Push, no hit. Push. Push, don't hit yet. Go. Wait, push. Enough. Still too much. I want less. Listen. I want your shot to bounce twice before the backward. Look. That's the progression. Give me one shot that the ball bounces twice. Too much. Still. Have a look. Because you are very powerful with that shot of the backward. Beautiful. You see how you prepare shorter? You see that you don't move your wrist? So the shot of the back with the winner is exactly the same, but pushing more. No using your wrist, because the wrist generates speed, and the speed is complete opposite of control. So you, go, you want to go for a winner? Yes. You want to lose the point? No. So you want a shot very consistent from here. <coughs> nice. Enough. If I use my wrist, from 100 shot, I can get 40 in, 60 out. The other ones, 90, 10. Go. Show me your show. Yeah, show me the racket. Beautiful. Much better. Like it. Vamos, Paulin. Go. Right up. up. Go back in position. Go. Racket up. Nice. Enough. So every time you go to understand, the intention behind the shot is too much. Reduce a little bit. Don't think that only you're gonna win with this. It's too much. Man, I promise you, it's too much. Vamos. Five more. Ready? Go. Okay, up, show me the shot. Beautiful. Enough. What else do you do? I will try to volley. Yes? Stay back. Play along. Go again. You are already attacking. Nice. Bounce again. What can I do? It's too easy for me. It's too easy. So if you play from those shots, why can't you? Shots like this, you will get better. Your shot will be more consistent. So do you know what happens? I will show you my 100% shot of the background. Yes? Be careful. Look. If I play the match, if I'm losing 4-1, I promise you that shot is out and my shot selection was very bad. From 70% of risk of my shot, 70% power, I might get from 100 shots, 90 in. That's the percentage I want. That's what I want. If I run more the risk, it's too risky. But you know what is the problem? That the 70% of the power I create to be a controlling a shot, to control my shot, is better as 20. That's the problem. And when I play against them, I got to go much higher and play my 100%, that for them is 40%. Go for winners like this. But remember, from contact with the ball and follow through. It's like a very practical. Yes? Thank, Thank you, Maui. Hello, Padel Academy.